My name's Josephine Sims and I've lived all my life in Appledore and my mother and my godmother worked at Appledore Sudbury's. But prior to that, before I went to school, my mother did was an outworker. So she had a treadle machine in the corner of the kitchen, which was not very big, um, where she kept her work. And Mr. Jack Holloway of Barnstable was the gentleman who came down and delivered the gloves and serviced the machines and made sure everything was working properly. So I got to know him quite well and he was Uncle Jack. Um, then I went to school at four, which you did in those days. You, I mean, it seemed early then, but of course there was no nursery, it was straight to school. And she went to the factory. And my godmother was already working there as an examiner. Um, and I used to quite often call up the factory if my mother wasn't outside school, I used to go over the factory to meet her. And the, one of the things that I can remember it even now was the smell. When you went up the steps, quite steep stone steps up to Appledore Factory, and you walked in the door and there, there was a smell of machine oil mixed with dusty fabric. And I can still visualize, I wish I, you could, you know, relate a smell. Um, because I can still imagine it now. I can close my eyes and I can still smell the factory and the smell of that and the noise and nobody ever stopped working because it was piecework. So if they stopped, it meant their work, their output slowed down. So you had to talk over the machines. Um, there was no health and safety. My mother worked right over in the corner and I walked through all the machinery to get to her. Uh, it, it was just... Um, a lot of memories for me when I was younger. And I can remember Auntie Mabel, she used to use glove stretchers and push them up into the nylon gloves and check every seam to make sure no stitches had been missed. They were quite meticulous with the work and then she had to put a pin or a marker and send them back to whoever made them to do them again. Um, they used to make, I think, 24 gloves. It was a pack of each batch was 12 pairs of gloves that they had, and they were given, in those days, um, a piece like a hand, um, two pieces like a hand with strips, which they sewed up and down to make the fingers. They were called forgets. Now, I don't know how you spell that. I don't know the word these days. But they, the strips, if there were any left, they'd bring them home for me, and I used to make dolls clothes. So my dolls were always the best dressed dolls because they had lovely nylon, dresses that I'd stitched together all these strips of nylon. That was when they still made the old fashioned nylon gloves, the sort that bridesmaids would wear or debutantes, you know, with the frill around the, the uh, wrist. Beautiful gloves. Um, they also made leather gloves, so I think that was a more specialist thing. My mother stuck to the nylon. Um, it was terrific camaraderie in, in the um, factory itself. Everybody knew everybody. Which, which was lovely and they all spoke to me when I went in and you know, it, it was a lovely feeling. Nice place to work. Um, it, it's just vivid memories. <laughs>